Alright, so getting an early start this morning. Not really. Um, it's actually like 10 o'clock, which is awesome. So, um, just now leaving the hotel. Gonna get some coffee or something and then head over to rehearsal. Um, we're meeting at 10.30, which will probably mean we'll start setting up at 10.30. Um, and then we'll see. Sometimes these kind of things um, can kind of go slow if uh, you know the venue is not on the same page as us. So if we get there and there's not a sound person or something, then you know we just set up. Um, I like to get there before everybody else if I can. Um, and because I've got more stuff, you know, I've got more gear to set up, so I like to kind of um, get all my stuff set up first, and then and that way I'm ready by the time everyone's there, um, I'm ready to go, and I can maybe even prep on my material a little bit. So, but again, first order of business is something to eat, and I've got some time, so we'll see. So I tried to tuck everything down um, under the seats a little bit. It's my in-ears bag. That's my duffel with all the extra gear. So I got my camera going in. Kaylee has a present for uh, somebody. I think my mom. And so back that goes in there. So thankfully nothing got stolen. Kroger has a Starbucks in it, and it's actually the closest one to the hotel. So to answer your question, yes, I'm going to Kroger for breakfast. All right, we got Starbucks and a sandwich, so a coffee cake. Now we're on the way. This is the kit. Uh, this is awesome. It is a Yamaha Maple Custom Absolute, which is great. And then this is, uh, I love their snare here. They've got this um, copper, um, DW copper snare. It's great. Probably gonna change all the symbols out, but it's a great kit. It's always a great time. Um, so it's gonna take a little bit and get comfortable. So exactly as I was saying, for me, if you look, no symbol sleeves anywhere so I brought my own <sighs> but yeah uh, it's gonna be awesome and I'm gonna get set up again I've got to go through this backstage area to get in here but uh, should be cool should be cool what's up this is Kurt what's up this is Kurt We're here <laughs> at bot 2017 my first time. I'm excited. Ooh. Tell us about your setup, brother. I said, oh, you want me to just cut straight to it? Yeah, I don't want to hear this nothing about you. This is my piano that I'm playing. It's a Yamaha CP300. Okay. It's cool. It's in a nice shell with the name Howard on it. Yeah, it's awesome. So it's going to be looking like I, I'm playing an upright piano. I purposely put my laptop over here and not on top of the piano because I didn't want to mix analog and digital. Gotcha. I got my motif here. I'm midding it. I can play it independent, but I'm midding it so I can play piano and then add fuzz. Nice. And 
I got the tracks running Ableton, running Reasons as well. Okay. Um, here's my Aviom, and I'm running all my tracks through uh, Persona's Firebox right here, my favorite device to travel with. Super small, but you can run eight independent channels out of it. Okay, so you got your your computer routed to this yeah, as well. Everything's Firewire. routed to this. Yeah, Firewire. Okay. And I'm running out of there. Loop, click. Vocals and some guitar. Awesome. So it's independent at the back. Cool, man. And I'm also talking. I'm going to be telling jokes and stuff during the week. Yeah. Encouraging people to worship. That's right. Keeping us, <laughs> keeping us spiritual. Yeah, keeping us spiritual. Kurt's incredible. It's going to be sick. All right, bass player. I'll bring over here, bro. What's up? This is Travis. How's it going? He's going to hold down on bass. Bro, you got a super cool uh, pedal board here. Yeah. What's up with this? Know, Show me, bro. Teach me some things. So this is something I just got last year. It's the Tech 21 Bass Fly Rig. Come around here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I've heard about Fly Rig, but I don't know. There's a bass version. Yeah, this is this one has a little bit more, um, I guess, accessibility compared to like um, the guitar one. It has like the compression, the you know, stand amp, the amp. Uh, amplifier and, and um, it has a boost and all that kind of stuff. Nice. The octave. But I'm only really going to be using these two. Okay. And then I'm going through um, my chromatic tuner to kind okay. of, so I can mute it going to, uh, it has a tuner on here but if I leave it on too long it kind of pops when I unmute it. So that's why I have this one. Cool man. And then I'm just playing through uh, my Fit Jazz 5. Nice. Just got it set up. Can't go wrong bro. <laughs> but yeah. Sweet man, <laughs> it's gonna be a fun week. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> this is our fearless leader. Yeah. What's up? This is Ryan. He's uh, lead vocals. Uh, yes. Guitar. This this Something. is the. I think it's a sure. This is it right here. Yes. Oh yeah. Sure one. Did you bring this or is this theirs? This is theirs. Okay. Uh, so Ryan plays guitar as well when he feels like it. Yep. If he feels like it. So it's rare. All right, man. Walk me through your setup here. This is actually pretty sweet. So this is Andy Ferguson's recommendation. So I'm just using a Tech 21 fly rig for guitar. Cool. And usually just go polytune, and I keep this compression and sustain on all the time. And then just basically I'm using this, and every once in a while I'll use like a delay just to fill it up. And uh, I just got presets here with the giga delay. And then this every once in a while, just if I don't want to mess with this, this is just another reverb. And I don't really, I don't use it. That's cool. my stuff. I don't ever play it, but there it is. Cool, man. And I use uh, Sure PSM in ears over here. So we got to run through the uh, Avion. Nice. That's my setup. This is my Steve Fee guitar. Yeah, yeah, you are you to get some. I can't remember what his name is. And here's my guitar I'll be playing. Nice. Yes. Bought it. It's awesome. The band Steve Fee. Cool. Yeah. Oh, show me your, your strap too, right? You oh, got yeah. the. Yeah. A guy in our personalized. My assistant got me a, for Christmas a strap for my first album. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah, so. You guys see this stage? Take it everywhere. Bro, are you vlogging me vlog right now? <laughs> You're vlogging me while I'm vlogging. Look, I'm, I'm new enough at this, okay? I'm trying to learn. Be nice. Be kind. Be Christian. Here's setting up the stage here, brethren. It's retractable. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Wow. <laughs> You want to record this you? is Brandon. Howdy, how are y'all? He is vocals and acoustic. Acoustic guitar. Show us your setup, bro. Uh, not much. What kind of guitar are you playing? I'm playing a Martin. Ooh. Triple O28. Not sure what all that means. Yeah, I know exactly what that means. I need to trim these guys off, but they're semi. It's okay, bro. That's uh, that's just the way. Triple O28. You know. It's a good guitar. Very versatile. It goes. Uh, Cool. It goes either way on a lot of sounds. I got my emergency here. Oh, praise the Lord. Try not to get sick. What are you, do you have to run any pedals or anything? What's uh? I'm in the middle of a video here. Don't pay attention to him. So I got just a, just a few things here on this little small pedal train. Uh, Voodoo pedal power, digital power, powers. Okay. These two guys. It has a few room, a uh, few more spots for a little expansion. Fishman preamp. I don't use too much on here. The, there's no battery in the acoustic, so it pops. Okay. Um, if you run straight through a tuner, so when you run through this, it takes that away. It gives you a little, uh, gives you volume control and then highs, mids, lows control. And this actually does some imaging um, for the acoustic. Cool, man. Sound, but I don't really use that a lot. Yeah. But a studio would be perfect. Nice. Got a wireless receiver, ears. Yeah, you're running wireless ears as well, right? Try to stay free of all the 
cables and stuff, so that makes me able to jump around. Cool, man. Praise the Lord. Corbin's, Corbin's, yeah. Corbin's not here. Corbin's got it's the limousine. Pedal boards over here. Or I'm going to explain your stuff if you don't come out here. Go ahead. You can do better than I can. All right, Corbin's coming out of the honeycomb. Oh, hey. Hello. This is Corbin, lead guitar for Enjoy this North week. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. So walk me through your rig here. You okay. probably have the most extensive guitar rig. Let me come around here and get the, get the uh, point of view here. All right, so everyone's got the fly rig, right? That's yeah, that's fly rig, but uh, we start over here, come in with my guitar right here through this wall, going through my SP compression, then I have an octave generator pog, love it, it's like my favorite pedal on the board. Cool. And then I have three overdrives right here. Um, this is a double barrel, it's a Morning Glory, and then a Tube Screamer, and then the BB Plus is just a great lead tone, I like it a lot. This is going to take a while. Yeah. <laughs> Volume pedal going, and then you got the um, fly rig right here, so this is my amp modeler basically, Sam's amp. Um, short delay, I leave this on all the time. And then this is all delays and verbs, even tied H9s are like amazing, I love them a lot. So delays, verbs, anything you can think about. What it is. Sweet man. What about your guitar? How many mm -hmm. are you bringing this week? Uh, I brought three just okay. because we had room. But um, the main one that I play is this Anderson Angel. I like it a lot. It's my favorite guitar. Nice. So very cool. You can split the pickups, single foils, and doubles. And so it's very versatile. I like it a lot. I also brought a Strat and then a Gibson 339 just, to, just in case. Just why not? Yeah. Why cool not? man. Yeah, so that's the, the band. Again, it's kind of a different setup. They have like this honeycomb setup this year. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm a big, I'm a big one, two, three, four, four, four. So we're gonna try to record everything multi-track. So Ryan has a four channel interface here. So we may run keys through this. Um, and then I've already kind of discussed mine. You can't really see it in there very well, but I have, um, my Zoom Q4N interface, so that's position is overheads. And then I've got separate mics running to uh, snare, if you can see there, that little guy there, and then kick. It's hard to see, but I have a separate kick mic running. So I'm basically run tracking kick, snare, and overheads, uh, multi-tracking that way. And I think Travis has a setup as well that I'll show you. Kurt is using a Hero 4. Look at him go. Mr. Fancy.